Welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip. In this video, I'll show you how to take advantage of your supported NVIDIA graphics cards to render using the GPU. This will unlock performance improvements depending on your hardware configuration and scene setup. In Keyshot 9, you now have the choice to render using either the CPU or the GPU if you have an NVIDIA GPU built on Maxwell microarchitecture that supports CUDA Compute Compatibility 5.0 or later. If your GPU is supported, you'll see a GPU button on the ribbon and in the render menu that allows you to toggle between CPU and GPU rendering. These items will be grayed out if your NVIDIA driver is not up to date. To use GPU mode in the real-time view, select GPU mode in the ribbon. When GPU mode is active, the CPU usage dropdown in the ribbon will be replaced with a GPU usage dropdown, listing the available GPUs. You can see that on this machine, I have a Quadro RTX 5000 and 6000. Both of these cards will be rendering different aspects of the image depending on their speed, but as you can see when I pull up the heads up display, by default when you have multiple graphics cards, your max memory will be limited by the lowest value. In this case, my max is 16 gigs, and that's being pulled from the RTX 5000. I can allocate which GPU to use within the usage dropdown, so if I select the RTX 6000 instead, the GPU memory will switch to 24 gigs. If the GPU runs out of memory, Keyshot will revert to CPU rendering. But with an upcoming Keyshot feature, you will be able to NVLink GPUs for extended RAM. Here I have the render dialog options open. If your GPU meets requirements, you'll have the ability to render in GPU mode locally for default and background render modes, as well as send jobs to network rendering. Within this Render Engine section, you can either choose to have the Render Engine follow the real-time view mode or specify between CPU or GPU. When I select Default GPU mode, I can open this Usage dropdown in order to select which graphics cards to use for rendering. If I select both cards, Keyshot will split the job between them, which will give me a faster output. Even if your GPU does not meet requirements, you can still send jobs to network rendering in GPU mode. Just select GPU mode in the Render Engine section. It's also important to know that visual and feature parity are matched between CPU and GPU mode, aside from a few limitations, and that's including the cutaway material, rounded edges, and render nerves. Most of these limitations will trigger a warning icon in the real-time view. Click on that icon for more information about what parts of your scene are impacted. The main benefit of GPU rendering is the ease of performance scaling. Simply add additional supported GPUs to your machine to increase render speed and boost productivity so you can take your Keyshot scenes to the next level. Thanks for watching this Keyshot Quick Tip. Let us know your thoughts on this feature in the comments section below. If you found this video useful, give it a like and share it with your friends.